Hello fellow freaks of nature, Zoo Girl here, and today we're going to spend some time with the adorable and feisty meerkat. Get a load of this guy, watch this. So cute. Now you may remember Timon, the lovable bug-eating character with the problem-free philosophy from The Lion King. Well, guess what? He's a meerkat. Despite their name, though, these guys aren't just mere cats. In fact, they're not really cats at all. They're actually part of the mongoose family. Now, these critters can be found in South Africa, and they spend a lot of their time, and I mean a lot of time, building and maintaining burrows in the sand that help keep them safe at night. During the daytime, though, meerkats are busy, busy, busy. They actually spend most of their time searching for food. Not these guys, though. They're just messing around. Come on, guys, I'm starving. Let's get lunch. Seriously. So what is on the menu? Well, it's not ice cream, but they are insectivores. This means they like to eat any kind of bug. Yep, Akuna Matata. The movie got it right. Ooh, the little cream film kind. They're even immune to scorpion venom, so scorpions are a delicious delicacy for a hungry meerkat. Now, meerkats are gregarious. This is sort of a fancy way of saying that they live in big groups. Families typically have 20 to 30 individuals, with one pair acting as alpha male and alpha female. Think of them kind of like the king and queen. They're also the only ones allowed to have babies, so their kids are sort of like royalty too. All the meerkats work together and raise them until they're old enough to join the adults. Now it's because of these little guys' sense of teamwork and cooperation that they're able to survive in the harsh desert. They even take turns on sentry duty. While all the others search for lunch, one dedicated meerkat stands watch and alerts the others to dangerous predators like hawks and jackals. Like this, see? Oh, and this guy. He's totally on the clock. Yep, he's working. Oh, guess he saw something. Whoops. They even help groom each other and keep their skin and coats healthy. Oh, look at that face. Isn't he cute? It feels really good, and they just love the attention. Maybe muskrat love should be called meerkat love. So, if you want to get some more adorable meerkat action, support your local zoos. Go check them out. They really are quite fun to watch. I also highly recommend the show Meerkat Manor. It follows the Kalahari Meerkat Project, and they've been studying meerkat behavior for over 20 years now. It's an amazing operation, and the show itself is family-friendly and really quite touching. Not really like this. Until next time, though, I'm Zoo Girl signing off. If you like meerkats, and who doesn't, give me a big thumbs up, take a second, click that subscribe button. The animals and I appreciate it. Thanks for tuning into this episode of ZooTube, and in the meantime, stay wild.